Deep beneath the waves, swallowed by time and shrouded in mystery, lies the legendary city of Atlantis, a place of advanced technology and unimaginable beauty, lost to the world in a single day and night of cataclysmic destruction. Could such a place have truly existed or is it simply a captivating myth? The story of Atlantis has captured imaginations for millennia, a tantalizing blend of history and legend that continues to inspire wonder. Join me as we dive into the depths of this enigma, exploring the origins of the tale and the search for its location. For centuries, historians, archaeologists, and explorers have been captivated by the possibility of a real Atlantis. The idea of a technologically advanced civilization vanishing beneath the waves is both tragic and alluring. The search for Atlantis is a journey into the heart of our collective imagination, a quest to uncover the secrets of a lost world. The story of Atlantis as we know it today, originates from the writings of the ancient Greek philosopher Plato. In his dialogues Timaeus and Critias written around 360 BC, Plato describes a powerful island nation that existed some 9,000 years before his time. According to Plato, Atlantis was a technologically advanced and militarily powerful civilization, ruled by a wise and benevolent king. Its people enjoyed a utopian society, blessed with abundant resources, stunning architecture, and a complex social structure. Plato describes Atlantis as being located beyond the Pillars of Hercules, generally believed to refer to the Strait of Gibraltar, the gateway between the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. He depicts a vast island empire larger than Libya and Asia Minor combined, with a prosperous capital city adorned with magnificent temples, palaces, and canals. The Atlanteans, Plato writes, were a seafaring people, their ships sailing to every corner of the known world. However, Atlantis's prosperity and power were not to last. The Atlanteans, according to Plato's account, became corrupted by their wealth and ambition, their rulers becoming greedy and their armies conquering neighboring lands. This hubris angered the gods, who unleashed a series of earthquakes and floods upon Atlantis, causing the once great city to sink beneath the waves in a single day and night of unimaginable destruction. While Plato presents the story of Atlantis as a historical account, most scholars believe it to be an allegory, a cautionary tale about the dangers of unchecked ambition and the cyclical nature of civilizations. Yet the vivid imagery and compelling narrative of Plato's Atlantis have resonated through the centuries, inspiring countless theories, expeditions, and works of art. If Atlantis did exist, where could it be? Theories abound with proposed locations spanning the globe. Some researchers believe that Atlantis was located in the Atlantic Ocean, as Plato's writings suggest. They point to underwater geological formations, such as the Azores Archipelago and the Spartel Bank off the coast of Morocco, as possible remnants of the lost city. Others have proposed locations in the Mediterranean Sea, citing similarities between Plato's descriptions of Atlantis and the Minoan civilization on the island of Crete which was devastated by a volcanic eruption on the nearby island of Thera, modern-day Santorini, around 1600 BC. The destruction of the Minoan civilization, with its advanced culture, powerful navy, and sudden demise, bears striking resemblance to Plato's account of Atlantis. Still, others have ventured further afield in their search for Atlantis, proposing locations as diverse as Antarctica, the Caribbean, and even South America. These theories are often based on interpretations of ancient maps, geological evidence, or similarities between Atlantean legends and the myths and legends of other cultures. However, despite centuries of searching, no definitive evidence of Atlantis has ever been found. The ocean depths remain largely unexplored and many potential sites lie buried beneath centuries of sediment or lost to the ravages of time and geological activity. The mystery of Atlantis has inspired countless expeditions, with explorers, archaeologists, and treasure hunters venturing into the unknown in search of the lost city. Some expeditions have focused on specific locations, driven by interpretations of Plato's writings or by tantalizing clues gleaned from ancient maps or artifacts. One such expedition, led by American archaeologist Robert Sarmast in the early 2000s, focused on the Spartel Bank off the coast of Morocco. Sarmast believed that the bank's location and geological features matched Plato's description of Atlantis. While his team did not discover a sunken city, they did find evidence of ancient human activity in the area, suggesting that it may have once been above sea level. 
Other expeditions have taken a more technological approach, utilizing sonar, submersibles, and underwater robots to map the ocean floor and search for anomalies that could indicate man-made structures. While these expeditions have yielded valuable data about the ocean and its inhabitants, they have yet to uncover any conclusive evidence of Atlantis.